Chelsea, it's mom. I love you and I want to help you study for your senior exam. So we're wa working our way through your study manual for your cosmetology school. We're into chapter 10, Basics of Chemistry. The science that deals with the composition, structures, and properties of matter and how matter changes under different conditions is known as chemistry. The study of substances that contain carbon is referred to as organic chemistry. Products manufactured from natural gas or plant or animal remains are considered to be organic. Metals, minerals, water, and air are examples of inorganic substances. Inorganic chemistry is the science that deals with compounds lacking carbon. Any substance that occupies space and has mass can be considered as matter. A basic substance that cannot be broken down into simpler substance without loss of identity is called an element. Substances that cannot be divided into simpler substances by ordinary chemical means are called atoms. The smallest particle of an element is an atom. Chemically joining two or more atoms forms a molecule. Chemical combinations of two or more atoms of different elements form a compound. Normal matter exists in three different physical states, which are solid, gas, and liquid. Characteristics that do not involve chemistry changing a substance are physical properties. A change in a substance's chemical composition is called a chemical change. Matter that is not mixed with substances of different chemical comp compositions is a pure substance. Physical mixtures containing two or more different substances are solutions, suspensions, and emulsions. A blended mixture of two or more liquids or a solid dissolved in a liquid is called a solution. A substance that dissolves another substance with no change in chemical composition is a solvent. Miscible liquids are liquids that can be mixed into stable solutions. Liquids that are not capable of being mixed into stable solutions are immiscible. A product that does not separate when standing and contains particles is considered to be a solution. Solutions are contained undissolved, excuse me, solutions that contain undissolved particles that are visible to the naked eye are known as suspensions. A mixture of two or more immiscible substances united with the aid of a binder is known as an emulsion. A substance that acts as a bridge to allow oil and water to mix or emulsify is called a surfactant. The water-loving head of a surfactant molecule is hydrophilic. Ammonium hydroxide and ammonium thigocholate are examples of products used to raise the pH of hair. An atom or molecule that carries an electric charge is an ion. Acids owe their chemical reactivity to the hydrogen ion. Chemical reactions that produce heat are called exothermic. The chemical reaction that combines an element or compound with oxygen to produce an oxide is oxidation. The rapid oxidation of any substance accompanied by heat or light is combustion. When oxygen is subtracted from a substance, the chemical reaction is called reduction. A substance that has pH above 7.0 is considered to be an alkali solution. A sweet, colorless, oily substance used as a moisturing ingredient in cosmetics products is glycerin. The chemical reaction in which the oxidizing agent is reduced and the reducing agent is oxidized is redox. Okay, that is the end of chapter 10. 
and we will get on to chapter 11 in the next video.